So in sum, relationships matter, right? We know that in primary care. We live by that creed in our clinical work with our patients. But what I'm asking you to do now is consider, what does it look like to deploy those relational superpowers in our work with colleagues on our care teams, with community groups, and with important stakeholders in our ecosystem, like payers and decision makers? I was recently moderating a discussion with Dr. Mike Klinkman, who's been incredibly successful building primary care community collaborations that are enabled by enhanced information technology to serve vulnerable patients. Their effort has been so successful that the state has asked Mike and the team to develop the entire blueprint for the state. So what's the secret in your sauce, Mike? Relationships, he said. Making time to sit with folks, get to know them and their values, share mine, find common ground, and start trusting each other. And so I asked him, well, how do you do that part? And he said he tried to be really intentional about how he showed up. So for example, he wouldn't intro himself as Dr. Klinkman. He'd intro himself as Mike. He would ask them what they cared about, what they thought the problems were, what help they needed before he'd tell them what he thought and what he wanted. And he wouldn't try and accomplish everything in the first meeting with others. Sounds almost too basic, right? Well, how he was showing up was sending the unambiguous signal, I respect you. What you're doing is important. I'm not better than you. I know I can't achieve my goals without you. Those were the signals and messages getting sent. And turns out humans respond really well to those messages. And those were the same messages that Dr. Howard Half, now head of the primary care uh, program statewide in Maryland, was sending years ago when he was laying the groundwork for a new system of comprehensive payment for primary care with various state actors and getting them to invest in primary care in a much more significant way. Right? In his interactions, he signaled that he understood and respected the position that they were in, their interests in controlling costs and ensuring accountability. Right? He wasn't walking in saying, we in primary care are running on fumes. We need your help and we need it now. Because what's the implicit message of that? Right? The implicit message is, my interests matter, yours don't. My suffering deserves to be prioritized. Yours doesn't even need to be acknowledged. No one likes to hear those messages. No one wants to help you when you send that signal. Frankly, I don't think there's ever been a more important time for this. Not just because this relational work is essential for us in primary care to survive and thrive in this very difficult moment, but also because fewer and fewer people are willing and able to do this relational work in our society right now, the work of democracy. Right? I'm talking about being in the public space with others, navigating difference, finding common ground, and taking action that addresses common, complex problems. Right? That work, the essence of what enables America to function, it's becoming harder and harder as the constituent for that work, the political middle, shrinks in this country, and as the processes of that work, negotiation, compromise, and sacrifice, are increasingly being seen as weak, if not traitorous. Right? When people like Mike Klinkman do that negotiation and compromise with public health and community-based organizations, and when people like Howard Half do it with state officials, health systems leaders, that difficult relational work, they're not just promoting health and advancing healthcare reform. They're protecting our democracy. And they're setting an example for how we Americans have to be going forward, how we have to show up. Bottom line, friends, I assume you all went to primary care to protect and support people, families, and communities. That's why I went. Little did we know we'd be positioning ourselves to help protect and support, maybe even save our democracy, our nation. Right? You didn't necessarily sign up for that, but heck, that's where we now find ourselves.